Earlier, we started our 400 Magnum out of our 72 Charger. It started up and ran good, but had zero oil pressure. So we shut it down immediately. I had a suspicion it was an oil galley plug in the front, which is easy to miss, and I was right. However, when you take the front of the engine apart and you see that somebody missed an oil galley plug, I want to be sure the rest of the engine, which I did not put together or build, is done correctly. So I instructed Mike to disassemble the engine, mic everything, plastic gauge everything, and if it's right, put it back together again. We removed the 400 off of the engine run stand. It is now on a conventional engine stand. It's time to disassemble it and do an inspection. Hopefully, there's nothing wrong inside. That would be a huge setback if there was. But if not, and there's nothing wrong, we can bolt it back together and get it back on the engine run stand soon. You gotta be careful taking these cams out. There's a gear on them that likes to tear up, so you gotta be real careful. Our 400 Magnum is ready to be disassembled. I give that task over to Mike. While he's working on that, I'm gonna work on the 70 Hemi Charger, getting the roof ready for the new vinyl top installation. So what I'm doing is, uh, when you tape off your roof, because this is a vinyl roof car, that clear that we use, that 2000, uh, 2002 clear, is really thick. And so it creates these hard lines. So even though we didn't need to repaint the roof other than the pre-paint, we do need to put the vinyl top on it. And Larry was saying he's seen in the past where these lines, these thick lines will swell up through the vinyl top. So I'm just feathering those back so we have a nice transition so that doesn't show up so bad. Hopefully it'll show up at all, I should say. And that's not one of those things that we have to use a block on because you're not gonna see a little bit of uh, transition underneath that vinyl top like you would if it was out in the open. So I just run a tape line right through the holes where the vinyl top moldings go, and that gives me a good line to work from. I think that the factory would have painted the whole car at the same time, don't you? No. And it just would have been all one horrible paint job, <laughs> and then they would, they'd have come back and put a vinyl top on it. So this car is a factory V1X car, which means it gets a black vinyl top. Uh, it was funny because the vendor actually screwed up and sent me a white vinyl top, which is great because remember my car from high school was a white vinyl top, burnt orange car. So I playing with the guy, I took a picture of it setting on there and sent it to him and said, I don't care what your car was coated with, I'm putting that on. I said, I'm kidding, dude, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah I figured you was kidding, but Yeah, I could tell by your reaction that you figured I was kidding. <laughs> the fact that you were gonna kill me. Right. Yeah, put him in a suitcase. Makes and... perfect sense, right? Okay, so really I've got that about where it needs to be. We'll wanna mask out uh, 18 inches with paper and then go to plastic on the rest oh, okay. of the car. So that's ready to blow off. So with that, we're ready to go to the next step, which is just to bag the car, make sure no glue gets on the rest of it, and cut Larry loose. Now that we've got the 400 Magnum off of the engine run stand and over on a regular stand, that frees up our engine run stand. So now we can put the 446 pack out of our 70 Challenger on there and fire it up. My level of confidence is 100% on the 446 pack. It will start, run, and perform like it's supposed to. Oh, look at this, look at this. <laughs> These are brand new reproduction of the original Holley carburetors. I'll end up changing out a couple of bolts on them. This is the center one. See now, the original ones are a little bit different than these, but these work great. These are great replacement ones. The main, the biggest thing that you notice is this has a hex head on it. And the original Hollies have a large flat screw that they put on there. So you can take these out and put the original ones in. See, here's an example of the original screw. That's the flat tip instead of the hex. So once we get this thing running and, and ready to go in the car, we'll switch these out with these. But right now, I don't want to mess with the carburetors. I want them to run the way they're supposed to run. Okay, so this is the center one. Can You know how I can tell that this is the center one? The linkage. The linkage? Yeah. Yep. That linkage right there doesn't appear on the outboards. Let's open up a couple of the other outboards, the other two outboards. I got a good feeling about this, gentlemen. 1974 46 pack. 
the four-speed car. What Which is what on what's the alphanumeric call out for a four-speed? I don't know. D21, Delta 21. Yep. It's an A33 track pack car with 354 gears. What's the alphanumeric call out for that? I don't know. A33. Four tens? A34. Don't run any fuel yet because I want to crank it over a little bit. You've got oil pressure. Okay, oh. so you got fuel pump on. So let's get fuel up here to where we know it's give us some. Yeah. She's pumping. It's pumping. Ready? Yeah. Pump it. Okay, let the battery charge up for a second. Shut the fuel off. Crank it over. <laughs> 